Good morning, everybody. Happy Martin Luther King Day. It is Monday morning. I thought we would vlog today because it has been way, way, way too long. I have attempted to vlog multiple times and then it all just ended up with the camera in my purse and me going about my day. But I just made a cup of coffee. Yeah, well, me too, like a year. I know, it's been like a year, I know. Um, it's 8 16. So we are going to start the day. We are late waking up because my kids are off school, which is great. Oh, thank you. We had a super busy weekend, even though we weren't supposed to have a busy weekend because we were supposed to go to Chicago, but they got a snowstorm, so we didn't go there. Yeah, we should have went earlier, but I had to work and my kids had school, so we couldn't do that either. Um, but I think we would have made it if we would have left at like nine. Um, but the time that we could leave, we would have got there like right when the snow was coming down. So anyway, we are here. We are gonna start the day. I will catch you guys up with uh, everything that I've been doing since Christmas Eve Eve. No, since Christmas Day. I lost my Christmas Eve SD card. I can't find it anywhere. They all look the same. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, but I have to go through every single one and like label them. One day, that's gonna be a project that I tackle. Not today though, not today. Today, we are just going to uh, clean up around the house, finish all of the laundry, and then go downstairs, clean out the toy closet, and get everything off the floors because our basement is being redone. We're redoing the flooring and the countertops and we're painting and putting up new baseboard trim. So we've got to get that prepared because that's being started, I believe, Wednesday. Typically I work Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This week though, I switched out my Monday for Tuesday. So I'll be at work Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, what else do I have to tell you guys? I think that's it. I am going to sit and drink my nice cup of coffee. Can you guys see that? How delicious it looks. And I will check back in with you guys uh, in a little bit. You know what I think I'm gonna do right now? Let me open up the dishwasher. I may go ahead and put all the dishes in and get that running and check that off my list. So then I don't have to do it later. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. We're now ready and headed to Staples. My off day has turned into Let's Work for Cody Day. We ordered a computer through Staples and we're gonna go pick it up. We did the one hour pickup option. It's a computer and a mouse, but I've gotta get a mouse pad while we are in the store. But me and Skylar are gonna go pick that up because I am a little bit better with technology than Cody is and he doesn't really know like what things to put with what and like internet is your sleep on yep okay but it's an off day because it's Martin Luther King day for most schools and companies some don't like it's not that they don't celebrate it some don't take off but I think for like mail FedEx is going I think we don't get mail today, which is really sad because, I mean, it's not sad. They deserve an off day. But I have a planner that is supposed to be here and it's like being held at the distribution center, which is like right down the street. But it's a planner that I think is gonna be really helpful to my everyday life. And I've been printing off the printables for it, but I'm like anxiously waiting for it to get here. And it says tomorrow, but I forgot there's no mail today. So I won't get it today. Um, but let's go to Staples. At least you get it tomorrow. That's true, that's true. We can't forget to get a mouse pad. Okay. <laughs> Which one do you think he would like? Just plain black? Hmm. Yeah, good deal. Let's get in the car. Oh, perfect. No, it definitely won't slide around. We ended up getting uh, we got the bat, we got that, and then we got just regular black mouse pad. I forget if I showed you all 
just regular black. Now we are going to go, I guess, drop this off. We need to call Cody and make sure he is at his office and then we will go. We are now back home. Look at how dirty my countertops. You guys, we have a lot of cleaning that we have to do. We'll obviously do it off of my planner recommendations. But we picked up pizza. We are back. Uh, Cody is at work. So that's great. And he hits his computer. So that's also great. I am about, though, to make my slow cooker recipe for the day, which is a slow cooker Mississippi chicken. We're gonna put all of this mm -hmm. in the crock pot and then put yeah, it on low for four to five hours. Yeah. It is 1229, no. so no. yeah. You have to wait for we'll your go ahead and take care of this and I'll show you when it's done. So I put everything in my crock pot, as you can see. It is a pack of ranch dressing, some chicken, some pepperoncinis, some butter, and a half a packet of brown gravy. And I'm gonna put this uh, my crock pot didn't have the settings of low and high ratio, so I just put it on high for six hours. Um, actually, I think I might put it on high for four hours, so then I'll be ready at 5 p.m. Good deal. Um, I also cleaned off my countertop. I'm going to sit for a minute, think about what else I have to do, and then probably change my outfit. And then continue on with the day, but yeah. You need to get a haircut, son. I got changed. I also planned my outfit, which was kind of the outfit that I had on today, just a little bit different. Uh, but I just set it all aside because I was only in my black jeans for like four hours. So we'll wear that again tomorrow. I have my kids currently downstairs. Did I tell you guys we're redoing the basement? I think I did. We're getting all new flooring, pulling up the carpet. It's just carpet that my cat, God bless him. You know, God bless him, but he's peed on it for, well, probably ever since we moved in here 11 years ago. So there's 11 years of cat pee somewhere. I can smell it. Uh, the LVP, which is the same type of flooring that I have in this floor, very good with that type of thing because Harley for a little while was peeing in the corner right by my fireplace over here, uh, wipes up and I can disinfect it and everything and it's fine. But I have my kids right now going through all of their toys because down in the basement they have the toy closet which is below the steps and that all has to be removed because right now it's just concrete right there and then there's carpet on all the other areas it's uh, except where the bar top is. That is where we have tile. So underneath the steps, in the whole like living room type space and over by where the refrigerator is, is all getting the LVP. However, for them to start doing that, everything needs to be off of it. There's a whole lot. They said that they would move the fridge. They also said that they would move the couch, but everything else has to go. So in order for that to happen, we gotta get to work. But before I go downstairs and tackle that area, I'm going to tackle straightening up. Well, I have a list. Uh, we are going to make beds. We are going to restart the laundry. We're going to clean all of the bathroom sinks. We already plan and prep dinner. We're going to load and empty the dishwasher. We're going to clean the kitchen counters, which I kind of did. I need to do this desk though wipe down the kitchen sink and then tidy the main living space. So we will get that done. Then we gotta dust the furniture and vacuum the house. Sounds like a lot. The planner's keeping me uh, really up to date. The, the PDF version of this is still available. I think the planners may be sold out though. Um, but this is everything that you do in the morning. And then this is everything that you do in the evening. And then every day there's a different task for you to complete. So yeah, but at least it keeps me on track and that's exactly what I need. And quite honestly, just doing this, the bare minimum takes me not a very long time. And it also gives you an organizing task, one per week to do. Last week was the pantry. This week it's under the kitchen sink. So yeah, this is like a life send, a life 
a life hack, definitely. But we're gonna get all of these checked off and then hopefully chill out for a little bit and then go in the basement and go through everything and start moving all the stuff around. So we haven't made it very far, but I wanted to tell you guys something. My uncle is flipping awesome and he found this dog in Price Hill, which is an area of town um, probably 20 minutes away from where I live. But he found this dog in 16 degree weather. It's super, super chilly outside, especially this morning. And he picked up, swooped him up and then took him to the groomer and got him groomed. Look at how cute he is. Such a good person. Oh, it just pulls at my heartstrings, but he is at the vet right now figuring out who this dog is, how old this is, and all of that. And then I'm gonna put it on Facebook and try to get him a home. You're all stuffed up. All right, I gotta keep going downstairs. We're cleaning out the toy closet. There's a lot of stuff, especially from Christmas down there. So we have a super great start on the basement. I went through all the toys that were down here. Did I show you it before? Oh, I can't remember if I did or not. But what happened was, here's my basement. We are getting LVP flooring, which is a vinyl, luxury vinyl plank flooring for down here. I don't think I have a sample of it. I think Cody may have taken that with him. And then this is getting covered in this white shiplap stuff. And then the red's going. The red's being painted the gray that's on the rest of the wall. Same with up here. And then we ordered a new door that's exactly like our upstairs door so that's being replaced and then we're going to outskirt this with just you know the two by four column looking thing but yeah this had to be done today because i told you guys i'm going to work tomorrow so at least i think i'm going to work tomorrow pretty sure i'm going to work tomorrow but i just cleaned up all of this stuff and swept down here. These are two pieces that, this table, it's an air hockey, it still works, it's broken in the bottom. Uh, I guess we could take just the golfing part off because the air hockey table still works. But I think that's gonna go and then the glass table is going to go. And I cleaned out this. This is the storage closet where all of my kids' toys were being held so i took all of that out and it is now over here and then we'll probably keep going through this stuff i was looking upstairs at different types of storing mechanisms where we could further hold all of the toys if this is going to become like one of those houses you know that you see with the little doors i always see um pictures and i think somebody on facebook that i'm friends with has one but I think that's adorable. So I'm gonna ask Cody if he can maybe help build that out. And I know that he's more than capable of doing that. The last things that I have to do down here, they are gonna move, obviously my couch, that chair is also, it needs to go somewhere. But I need to take this computer upstairs and then I need to empty out that little cabinet. It has our wedding pictures in it. But I think that we have a pretty good start. I feel a lot better down here knowing that I at least have that closet nice and cleaned out. And that's all I have to say. So dinner is done. We all have pajamas and I'm wrapped up in a blanket. Um, I thought, did I ever tell you guys what we did over Christmas break? I lost my SD card to Christmas Eve. Then Christmas Day, you guys saw a little bit of that. And then during Christmas break, I had strep. You guys saw that. Sienna had strep. I don't know. Did you guys see that? Or was that after Christmas break? I can't remember. Cody had what I thought was possibly the flu, which is another reason why our string of vlogs ended kind of abruptly. And then we, during Christmas break, we went to... I'm trying to think. We went to Kings Island for Christmas or New Year's Eve. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. 
and then we went to the American Girl doll store in Columbus a couple days after that and then my kids went back to school and then I think that's it I thought we had like a lot of fun things that happened but I guess we didn't I'm sure we did I just can't think of it off the top of my head but I wanted to say good night to you all tonight and tell you guys that I will see you guys probably at some point this week I miss vlogging so I want to at least pick up my camera a lot more often but thank you for spending the day with me today it was kind of like a semi at home day but happy Martin Luther King Day and I will see you guys in a couple days maybe even tomorrow I don't know all right goodbye I definitely have to be back for my basement remodel because I think that will be exciting to see.